Getting teens to talk and open up about what they're thinking, feeling, and doing can be a challenge for many parents, but there are lots of ways that you can bridge that communication gap. Hi, I'm Betty Wong, Executive Editor of Family Circle Magazine, and I'm going to show you ways that you can share activities with your teen to not only connect and bond, but also encourage a healthy and active lifestyle. Hi, my name is Brian Dalton. This is Krista Dalton. She's nine and a half, and she's my surfing buddy. I'm Julie. This is my son, Matei. He's 14, and we figure skate together. Hi, my name is Joyce Kosciuszko, and my son, Eric, is 18, and the sport that we enjoy doing together is road biking. I'm Jay Mason, uh, and this is my son, Corey Mason, and he's 18. Amongst the activities we do, we do basketball, and uh, but primarily golf, which is what we're out doing today. So, uh, how was your day? Oh, it was great. Great day. It affords us kind of, right. um, really, four or five That's hours of, of peace and quiet. And, uh, you know, we usually always carry our bags. I mean, we're sitting in a cart now, but we usually carry our bag. And uh, we kind of get the exercise. And uh, we kind of, it's very rare that we would have a chance to talk for four or five hours and have some nice competition at the same time. When we're out on the golf course, it's kind of, we're having fun, so... I mean, if I bring up something that I don't really want to sit down and talk about with him one-on-one, -on -one, he's still got to be with me for another three hours so he can't get, uh... yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a good way. You can't get too mad at, yeah, get too mad at me on the golf course. <laughs> I think playing with my dad is um, it's good for us. I mean, it gives us some competition. We get to go out, um, get to hang out with each other for, like you said, a good four or five hours. And, um, He's, he's, he's better than me, so it keeps me um, getting better to try to beat him and become better at golf. Great shot, great hole, you win. <laughs> Good shot. The problem is that, you know, they hate anything that smacks of, hey, let's sit down and have a talk. So there are ways to bridge that communication gap, you just have to be a little creative about it. Don't let stereotypes get in the way. You know, moms and sons are just as likely to bond as dads and daughters. You don't have to stick with traditional roles. Dads don't have to be always the coach of the basketball team. Mom can be out there on the team, too. And it'd be great if you guys actually find a new activity that you guys haven't tried and take a lesson together. I think that it gives us a lot more opportunity to talk to each other. We have an activity in common to talk about, um, and sometimes when there's stresses from other things, normal parent-teenager things, we have something with the skating that we can find to laugh about. The best part about being on the ice with my mom is that I get to annoy her all the time, so it's, it's a lot of fun to do that. You're slow. You're usually faster than me. Someday you have to teach me a couple more of those footwork things. I found that I really do get more time to spend with him and really talk to him and because we have something that we can have fun at together um, and even discuss the hard times together it keeps the lines of communication open in other areas as well. I like to call them side talkers. When you're side by side, like when you're in a car, you're out for a walk together, or you're doing some other activity like jogging or biking, you're much more likely to get them to open up and be more conversational because they don't feel like they're getting the third degree. It's a lot easier to talk to her when I'm with her riding my bike, but usually I have to slow down so I can talk to her, you know. An example of the times we spent together riding is um, recently we were riding and all of a sudden Eric turned to me telling me that he was thinking about his major, maybe engineering, what did I think, and we were on the bikes and, you know, it's a time for him to think about things that I'm the closest person next to him to actually open it up to. So we've had conversations like that and normally we probably wouldn't have had if we were just in the same room together. Me and my mother having the same hobby helps us to spend a lot more time together and it'll definitely stay like that for the future. We started out at my lawnmower and she would sit on the front and I would stand up and she'd ride that and then progress to getting her own surfboard. I like to spend the time with my dad on the water because it's just so fun hanging out with him and I really like 
I really enjoy it. And then that's where also shared activities um, come into play because when you're both doing the same thing, you're both kind of equal partners, They're, your team feels much more comfortable opening up to you as a friend. So this is an opportunity for you guys to get to know each other and you know, you can talk about TV, your favorite shows, hobbies, food, sports, kind of keep things upbeat because this is a chance for you guys to really get to know each other as people. Uh, we're talking about school events, um, just, just family stuff in general. It gives us time to talk by ourselves, you know, nobody around. Surfing, hopefully, for Krista and I will keep us together, you know, really tight bond, you know, through her teenage years and she, you know, feel comfortable with me out in the water and in life in general. It's good because you can hang out more and you can know each other much more. And it's much better to have fun with us. As you can see, participating in activities and sports with your teen has lots of excellent benefits. From getting him to open up more, to enjoying a closer bond between the two of you. Plus, you'll both be enjoying a healthier and more active lifestyle. Thank you for watching Parents TV. Our families, our lives.